The circumstances of Rapp's death in 1921 became a Hollywood scandal and were covered widely, and sensationalized, by the media of the time. During a party held on Labor Day, September 5, 1921, in Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle's Suite, No. 1219, at the St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco, Rapp allegedly suffered a trauma. She died on September 9, 1921, from a ruptured bladder and secondary peritonitis. She is buried at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. The exact events of that party are still unclear, with witnesses relating numerous versions of what happened. It was alleged that she died as a result of a violent sexual assault by Arbuckle. Arbuckle's accuser, Maud Delmont, had accompanied Rapp to the party, she had first met Rapp only a few days earlier. Delmont was apparently not present for any of the events she described and was not called to testify at any of Arbuckle's three trials because of her own extensive criminal background that included extortion. Subsequent witnesses testified that Rapp had for some time suffered from cystitis, and that consuming alcohol could aggravate that condition. Witnesses also testified that she had previously suffered from venereal disease, so there were allegations that her death was brought on by her health rather than by an assault. After three manslaughter trials, Arbuckle was formally acquitted, his acquittal in the third trial was accompanied by an unprecedented statement of apology from the jury stating, in part, that acquittal is not enough for Roscoe Arbuckle. We feel that a great injustice has been done him there was not the slightest proof adduced to connect him in any way with the commission of a crime. Arbuckle's case has been examined by scholars and historians over the years and is still speculated about today, and a number of detailed books about the case have analyzed the incident and subsequent trials.